Hi guys, welcome to this short video about what you can do if you want to go to the website and they get this error message access denied. You don't have permission to access this website, blah, blah, blah on this server. So usually there are three possibilities why this error message occurs. First thing is that you're using an external IP address, which is blocked. Maybe that's from a previous user, maybe from a DOS attack or whatsoever. Then second thing is that you are calling this website from an IP address, which is not, not allowed for this country. So sometimes people are using VPN to watch Netflix from other countries. And when you want to access a website, which does not allow access from this country, you get this message. And third thing is if you have some weird stuff on the cache or cookies or whatsoever, what they don't like. So uh, how do we solve that? If you have just an IP address which is blocked and it's not your fault, it's maybe from a previous user, you can just download or use a VPN if you already have it. And that's something like that, where you can hide your external IP address. You can jump around from on different countries. You can download free ones, you can pay for them. I highly recommend uh, paid ones because they are uh, much more safe. Or the other ones have to get their money from selling your data. So I highly recommend to stay away from free VPNs. They are not expensive, so it's worth the money. What you can do, of course, I mean, usually they have a lot of servers for every country, especially for US and big countries. They have a, a lot of different servers and when you want to access a country usually you can ch just change or switch the servers so here for example i have nordvpn which is really a good thing so i go to united states and i can say what region and what type of server so if i think yeah i'm blocked i just change the server i don't have to leave uh, my protected vpn environment so i just change the server and if i'm in a country which is allowed on this website so it should be possible to access if i'm not on this country let's say i'm on a french server and want to access a us site and they are giving me this error message so i just click on connect to us wait till it's connected and then i should be able to reconnect of course you could leave your vpn and then you are unprotected and you get a new ip address would also work but it's your decision if you want to leave vpn these are the two really main things the problem is really just the ip address and the country but there's also a third possibility which could uh, be a problem and these are saved settings on your computer. So go to, let's say if you're using Chrome, go to settings and search for cache and you find this clear browser cache, clear history cookie cache and more. Click on that and you get a selection what you want to clear. Uh, I recommend to start with cached images and files try with this and click and try again if it's not working then you have to then i would maybe in as a second chance i would go with the browse his browsing history it's not much loss with that a little bit i mean of course the auto auto completion will be not usable anymore but uh, this is my second a suggestion and if this also doesn't work this is my third suggestion cookies and other sites data but you have to be aware of that you can lose some comfort you will have to specify on every site you want to log in you have to re-specify your email address and so maybe some preferences uh, whatsoever i mean it won't be terrible but it you will lose a little bit of comfort at the beginning until everything is restored again that's usually 
uh, yeah, if you delete ev everything and you changed your IP address and you are on the right, right country, usually this problem should be solved. Of course, to limit a little bit the damage of deleting site data, it is actually recommended to go to site data. If you're on Google Chrome, you can go to this option settings, go to search for site data and then search for your website and then check out what's stored and then you can decide what to delete or what not i will put down the link to all these uh, urls into the description so you don't have to look it up you just can click on it as long as it's still valid so as you can see i'm now connected with the us and it is a us site letgo.com so with a refresh it should be possible to access this site and as you can see it is properly working again and yeah i hope it will work for you too if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you liked the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time